if you're if you're what we call a first adopter of new technologies, if you're the first one to jump out and do IPv6, if you're a Comcast, if you're some of these larger organizations, you have you have the resources and you have the time to actually investigate what it means to your network to deploy IPv6, what it means to your customers, and to make sure that you do it in a way that is very seamless and that doesn't harm your business. And it's taken years, I think, for Comcast and other organizations to do this. There are companies out there that aren't the larger ones, that are the next level, the next wave of people who will come that will have to deploy IPv6. Uh, perhaps not as urgently today, but much more urgently as we move forward in time. And some of those enterprises do run their own services. Uh, some, of those, some of those organizations may run into a problem where they want to get something new on the internet in a couple of years. They may not be able to get the IPv4 resource they need in order to do that, so they'll need to do something with IPv6. So one of, one of the uh, things that we've done at the Internet Society is we've put together a new program that we launched in January called the Deploy360 program. And we're working very closely with first adopters of IPv6, like John's organization and the other regional Internet registries, like Comcast, like so many other organizations out there that are on the front line of this. And we're creating easy to use and easy to understand resources that helps everyone else pick up and find out exactly what it is that they need to do with uh, with IPv6 because today if you ask an enterprise level engineer that's not exposed to all these different first level type organizations what they need to do, they'll often go to a search engine and type in learn IPv6 and when you do that you get millions of responses and the information you get just on the first few pages is, is not always helpful and sometimes it's harmful if you pay attention to it because it's 10 years old. So we're working together with organizations at the table and some others that are out there to put together this resource in an open place where anyone can access it uh, without having to hit a paywall or do anything like that to gain the information and be able to move forward and do what it is that they need to do. And the answer might be for them, they have nothing to do today. But if the answer is they do have something to do today, we have some resources there available to them.